Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Tiny Rogues, the action RPG dungeon crawling bullet hell roguelike. Yes, all of those things. We are going to be playing the Pyromancer today, I think is one of the only classes we've not played yet. Uh, I, think we, I think we played the Warrior. We've not played the Bandit, I guess that is the other one, but uh, Pyromancer is what I want to go for. We haven't done a magic build in a couple days here. Drop a mana star whenever you inflict damage over time status effect on an enemy, which should happen pretty often, and mana stars basically help us ramp up our damage. Uh, so in it, we are going to be going here. Oh, look at that. We got, of course, the uh, the Retrovation Red Hoodie. Let's just let's call it that. Um, so 10% increased fire damage, a 25% chance to ignite. Seems like we do probably want to keep a fire build in mind. The fact that the Fireball Wand scales a little bit off strength is interesting. Do I experiment? I think... Let's experiment. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is those crazy explosion sounds. Uh, let's experiment with getting a little bit of strength on a wizard class. I think we did, like, intelligence and dex before. Or, like, or just the obvious raw, straight intelligence. You know what, let's check out a wooden chest, why not? Just raw straight intelligence, which they've all worked and they've all worked well, but I'm curious about this one here. I'm gonna avoid decks. I'm gonna just, I feel like it's usually good to have a dump stat, you know, of some kind, typically. It does feel weird going for strength here, but I mean, if this scales with strength, I guess I'll give it a shot. And how much damage are we doing? It seems pretty juicy. The damage over time effects seem quite strong. I will prioritize intelligence over strength if I ever have to make that choice, but... Oh my god! A little bit of a power slide. More damage, we take double damage. We, we take that so often, man. Like, it's not that it's not good, it's just that I'm always taking it. What if we got increased bonus damage from mana? I feel like there's a world in which this gives us more damage than glass cannon. And it's not that I... Yeah, it's not that glass cannon isn't good. In fact, it's 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 great. Uh, I'm not, like, particularly afraid of taking it anymore, you know? It's one of the things that makes the run stronger on average, like, pretty effectively. Here, wrestle once powerful hero. They fight valiantly. They'll do with determination. Yes. What does that do again? Uh, you do 10% more damage. Absolutely. We have an accessory, I think, that just gives us a little bit of extra... Um, oh my god. What is it? A little bit of extra health. That's what it was. Clearly, the spider is weak to fire. I see the exclamation points there, which mean that that is the element that this unit is weak to. Uh, more damage against undead and fiends. I'll think about it. Oh my word. You guys uh, weak to fire? No, sir. No, sir, no, sir. So we're sitting at the 30% max, which is not that much, but the more uh, the more we get. So currently we are getting at full mana, which we will be at, oops, very often because of our passive effect. Uh, we have a permanent 15% damage up, which sounds fun. I mean, I was looking for... Um, Even do a status check. I was looking for, you know, hopefully a, a better fire weapon. Pray to the Statue of the Night? Sure. Wait, five strike. Oh my god, I am, uh. I am becoming a muscular wizard. It's not quite the intent. Uh, but yeah, as we get more maximum mana, I. I genuinely think that we will indeed get more damage upgrade. Uh, than we would have from Glass Cannon. And then we also don't have to take 2x damage on top of it. More damage out for a little bit. I guess I'm just gonna go for all kinds of strength. This is wacky. This is absolutely wacky. My magic is in my muscles. Whoop. My goodness. My library is the gym more strength. This is getting a little stupid. Um, it is modifying our perks that we're going to get and I'm not sure if I want that. God, I'm gonna go for one to all stats. It hits me with the level up. Ooh, there's Enter My Lair. 
This should take a... It should be a little bit spookier than the spider. Oh, absolutely. So you don't see that exclamation by the name. They're taking a lot less damage. Get on in. Get our star. We can get a reliable 15% damage up. If we could get like a mana degeneration rate down, it would be good too. Either way, I, I'm feeling very strong. Like, very strong. Hit with it. More damage with hits that inflict status effects. Yes, I don't care about max health for that. Um, we got three HP. I'm gonna go for medium gold. I don't think it'll give us 12. Okay, if this doesn't do amazing damage in the jungle, I'll be upset. So that guy doesn't care. They very much do. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what? Muscle wizard. Sure. Let's see what it looks like. We, we've we won so many times now already that I'm kind of feeling. Let's do some dumb meme builds. Let's see. Maybe there's, maybe there's a hidden perk that works really, really well that's in the strength tree. Okay, this is getting stupid, though. I, there's a point where I need to say no. There's a point where I need to say no. Like, obviously our weapon scales with it. But the more you take a stat, the more it shows up. So, like, the game is uh, it's having a laugh. It knows I'm trying to do something a little strange. Oh, point of no return. Beef wizard it is. The good news is, like, this would be extraordinarily and only stupid if we um, didn't have a strength scaling weapon in addition. I guess we could drop this. If there's like a fire sword. Oh. If there's like a fire sword that scales primarily with strength and secondarily with intelligence and applies like a status effect. I don't know, man. That might be pretty good. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm not going to go that far. Repel or... I'll save my money for um, blacksmith or something. I think that'll be a little bit better for us. I just fine. Give me the, give me the 15 and then we'll maybe maybe we'll call it for a little bit after that cuz this should I think this gives us a max HP up. Maybe. Yep, there's our max HP up. Random body armor. Nah, I'll go for the health. We're going to be a very tanky wizard. You should take extra damage. Absolutely. My damage ain't scaling great, but hey, I, I'm with it. Again, we're at the point where it's like, are all the decisions I'm making the optimal ones? No. No, 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 no. But I'm trying to I'm trying to make it uh, so I can play in a way that makes me want to keep playing the longest. You know what I'm saying? And to me, that is do some weird things. Should have probably walked a little bit closer to get that boost a little bit earlier. We're definitely uh, feeling the pain in our damage department. We're gonna need intelligence pretty desperately. Okay. So you're taking... Why does everybody take extra damage from fire? Like, basically everybody does. I'm not complaining. That is exciting. But it is also surprising. I can't imagine we have very high crit chance. Well, obviously now it's not the time to check. I think you have 7% by base. So just never care about crit chance now, and then we are doing even more damage. Honestly, that's a pretty good perk. Not too upset with that one bit. Uh, yeah, probably. Paid for itself. 
24 for one and one. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. It's just gonna make it all the more difficult to find intelligence pickups. We're, we're really seeing firsthand how much it skews. Oh my goodness. damage though. Temp HP for now. I know we have like a million keys. Oh my god. So it feels like we're supposed to do the other thing. I don't have a curse reduction. It's supposed to like, you got keys, you got five keys going into the thing that's locked, but I don't, I just didn't want that right now. A spirit heart sounds great the future and it could last for uh, forever. Triple upgrade? Did we just triple upgrade this? I guess we'll just max it out. I don't necessarily want to keep it forever, but like, I don't know. Let's do this. What are you gonna do, man? When the game gives you... Ooh, max HP up. Random helmet. I don't have one. Well, status effects, I think, will be pretty decent here. On enemies where there's, like, or bosses where there's two targets, typically it's pretty good to have status effects. Get a little bit of extra bonus damage out that way. Yeah, like, we definitely got a lot more, a lot more DPS on the second guy than we normally would. By a long shot. Yeah, he's halfway. Oh, that's not good. I am, though, apparently. Oh, I hate this move. Oh! I don't hate it like it's a bad design. I hate it like it's tricky. Found. Sure, 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 sure. Don't got bombs. Don't care either. Okay. I've done it to myself, man. I've done it to myself. All right, let's get some gold. Maybe that'll teach the game. Look, I just said no to strength. Machine learning? Machine learning? Go for an arcade. I don't have any, um... Hmm. Multiple potions, I guess. What the hell? Are you are trying to turn me into a battle mage, and I'll be honest... I wouldn't say no. Genuinely, if I get a magical... If I get a sword that scales up from strength, primary, intelligence, secondary, and applies a status effect and it doesn't suck, I'll probably go for it. Nice. That's really nice to have. Also, about a thousand people have told me um, what I've done so obviously wrong to not have, um, not be able to get into the locked doors at the end of the game. They, like, a lot of things say, you are, you're an absolute idiot for not trying this. It's obviously related to this meta progress thing. Aren't you so stupid that you, you know, aren't upgrading that and stuff like that. Uh, I've gotten confirmation, guys, that it is not in the game yet. So there we go. Um, Razor Wands? I guess I'll take it. So it is not in the game yet. So we are, we are working for Malthael. It's going to be, I don't know if it's going to be at release or if it's just going to be uh, something that'll come later. Malthiel is indeed the final boss for now. I don't care about the blood shrine. Like, I don't need more keys, but this... I just don't care about shrines that much. God, I'm getting keys on keys on keys on keys on keys on keys and no bombs. It works fine. I'm a magic user! See? 
Copium? I use magic! Oh, fun. Oh, fun. Oh, look how small he is. Get out of here. Offhand. I have an offhand. I'm taking all stats. Good, we got Nasus. This is pretty much the this is the big RNG that matters throughout a fight. Or throughout the runs. Do you get Nasus or the Sphinx? It'll determine whether or not you have uh, an actually real chance of winning. Man. The wand is it is falling off so bad, but we've not really been getting good options. Like, I know we were offered a, um... Whatchamacallit? We were offered a weapon choice at one point. And it... Oh, I have no dodges. And obviously, uh, in hindsight, it, it's seeming kind of appealing. Okay. But hey, it's really easy to say that in hindsight. I just thought that maybe one of those weapon rooms would give me something... That has a status effect. I, I guess I didn't think that, that was that particularly rare. I thought that most magic items had status effects on them, but I guess I was just wrong. I'm trusting you, fire. Trusting you, fire. Should not have trusted you, fire. Oh my god, stop going invincible! The damage fall off is obscene. I think this showcase is pretty. Stop going invincible, dude. Oh man, I'm not really a give bosses invincibility phases kind of guy. Personally. Bloop. Rare weapon. Rare and relevant. Hopefully. Hello, Mr. Shark. We have a pretty bad build for Shark. Can you guys not be set on fire? Oh, there you go. It's just not a, it's just not a guarantee. Miramasa, interesting. It scales off of Dex and Magic. Maybe I'll try the Razor Wand, even though it doesn't do a status effect. This is pretty cool. I don't have the stuff for it. I'm kind of annoyed at how much better this is. In a way. I'm kind of bummed, because it scales on decks. That's, um... Uh... That's awkward. I mean, I can't argue with it. It's good. It's got piercing. It doesn't apply any status effects, though, and it scales on decks, and it's this powerful. I don't know. I would love to find, like, a disintegrator beam or something. Equipment. I would... Uh, please. Ooh, increased damage over time. Dex intelligence? I mean, I guess so. Well, it's actually it's so expensive. Take that instead. 35. Finally bombs. Ah, damage over time. I, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm going to want to swap off of this weapon at some point, probably, but it's definitely not right now. When did he- why? How? When? Is it random? When does he change his mind? When does he change his mind? Give me a chance to inflict a satisfaction on everything. Ooh, barbarism, actually. It's actually kind of cracked. Man, maybe strength is fine to take all the time. We're just getting so many flat damage upgrades. 
You know what it might be? You know what it might be? It'd be sad if this is true. It may actually be that, um... Yeah. We... Our damage over time effects don't scale with our damage percentage. If that's the case, that'd be pretty sad. Uh, let's check this. Can we do a little bit more? Nope. Definitely not. Definitely not. This is just going to be rough. Oh, God. For all those percentage damage ups we have, it, we are doing not much. Okay. It's understandable. I know it scales with X. I'm well aware. I've said it a hundred times, and you probably thought it a hundred times. I know. But I've not gotten any good weapon options for my exact for the build that I have. Okay, we'll be fine though. Should I pop a potion? Eh, probably not mid-combat. I'm just... The reason I didn't pop a potion beforehand is because I'm usually not that worried about the Kraken. I'm a little worried about them right now, though. Like, in hindsight, if I would have known that this was going to go so poorly, or we'd be so weak, rather, I might have changed my mind on that. But one hit is fine. I don't really care that much. Uh, five extra souls found. Uh, garbage. Do not care about meta currency. Not even a little. Ooh, this is big for us, actually. This is bigger than even getting one intelligence. Oh my god, the fall off. Okay. This is a this is a pretty big damage increase. Because of our um our passive that we have. I mean, a fire wand, I can't imagine, would be very strong here. Um. <laughs> um. 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 Can I get a new weapon that scales with what I have, please? I'm gonna lose my mind. Let's go for random. I'm gonna lose my mind. Like, I just thought that, what, what are the odds that we were gonna not get a quasi-relevant weapon by now? I assumed the odds were basically low, like, extraordinarily low. I'm... <laughs> I'm gonna lose it, dude. Let's... Whatever. Strength it is. It doesn't seem bad sometimes. I think the mana up is, is pretty, pretty juicy. Impress me. <gasps> that looks good. Inflicts disintegration. It's, that is a status effect. Sling pistols? Frostbane. Oh my god, wait, here we go. Wait, increased fire damage? So we could ro- Ah, uh, we got rid of the other chest plate. Damage over time. I don't know what Frostbite does, if it's- If Frostbite's a damage over time or if it's just a slow. But this is what we've been kind of looking for, at least on paper. Please tell me that Frostbite is damage over time and not just a slow. So we can take a new chest piece. Uh, we do bonus damage when we are unarmored. Four, eight. Uh, please. It's a damage over time. All right, we're in. We're in. Oh my God, we're in. It was all not for nothing. I do need a new chest piece, but that's okay.
Okay. I could get a new ring too. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be too hurt. Mountain's rage is my rage! No for kidding those who befoul the mountain. Uh, just do extra damage? Nope. Oh baby. We're actually chunking now, man. This weapon does not take mana though. Wait, what? Ah shoot! Okay, that's a bummer. Uh I thought that pretty much anything that scaled with intelligence would have mana capacity. It does not. That's pretty noteworthy. That being said, the results speak for themselves. This thing is chunking. I yeah. The the results speak for themselves. Clear clearly we don't need it. It's a bummer to have a um I don't think I have reload time. For the sake of science. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's it's a yeah, it's nothing. It's nothing. Reload time does not have an impact on swords. It is exclusively for those weapons that actually have ammo. Like uh like the literal guns. Kind of fun being a battle mage, though. Maybe we secretly have mana. Oh, stings! I don't have I don't have enough money for that. It'd be kind of fun is if what if the first one was free? Hmm. No, or if they made it so there was a chance that like the same way you can get the Hephaestus room. What if there's one that um, that does rank you up for free? Okay, so we don't... Unfortunately, we don't want anything that has to do with mana. Which is a shame. It, it is a shame, but again, like, look at the damage results. It it speaks for itself. It's so strong. It's pretty late for this, but I think it's still fine. Okay, well, we're on the hunt for potions, so go for anything that has, like, a randomness attached to it. Perma potions, but they have half effectiveness, so we just got, like, crit mana degeneration down, not that that'll matter. Unless it's secret, like, unless we secretly have mana. I hope we do, but I don't think we do. Live a little. No. Yeah, exactly. Actually, yes. Yeah, let's live a little. Let's be alive a little. Uh-oh. That's not a good placement. Fine, though. What? Those guys were dead! Uh. Okay. Not good. These guys do the laser beams. Back it up, back it up, back it up. So good. Perma potions. Let's go. Give me some new ones. Immunity to poison forever. Sure. Increase damage. I already have that one, but put it on anyways. It's floor eight, and I have one level left. We scale well with strength now. I don't know. It's. It finally doesn't mean nothing. I don't know. I don't know. I think it would add to build variety quite a bit. If, like, would things need to be rebounded a bit? Maybe. But I think it would add a lot to build variety if every weapon that's scaled with intelligence at least let you have mana. Right, because I think a battle mage build is uh, is, is totally cool. Right, holding staff, not really what I'm looking for. I mean, it's very cool looking. Wow, me! It's the Hades fight, and yes, I know it's Cerberus. Okay. 
Careful. You gotta you gotta go back on that. Oh my god. On that last run a little bit here. If you only have two dodges, which we do. Good. Love this attack. Good. Love this attack. Got a lot of DPS out there. Wow. Excuse me. Screw it. Screw it. Screw with it. Okay. All right. I think we are going to hit the level up. Uh -oh. I had no idea where the Invisiboys were. That could have been a little bit dangerous. Shoot. I don't like that we only have three HP. Okay. What's well, floor nine? I'm now. I'm confident we're going to hit our max level up, but our stats are pretty low. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm. Extra happy we showed up here. Extra happy we, we did that. Uh, infusion. Infusions are not permanent. I don't need the decks. Awkward. It's kind of tricky for melee. Infuse with fire. You know what? I'm a little bit worried about surviving. Oh my god! Oh my god. I'm a little bit more worried about surviving. Kind of spicy. Could it be? Could it be a run where we could die? That's kind of fun. That's kind of fun. Um, Let's see. Receive fatal... Damage, gain range on hit, get extra max attack speed. 30% more damage, we take double damage. Um, this is probably better. Basically lets me get the same damage up. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. Chirp. Yeah, it kind of lets me just do the same damage up. That we get 30% attack speed, which is juicy as hell. Man, I don't know. Life could be sweet. If we didn't pick, like, pick up that way back when, we could have had double max armor. Get the brains. Get the brains. Get the brains. Get the brains. I would love literally any accessory right now. I might die. I might die here. This boss is a bit on the tricky side. We have, thankfully, one of our elements is doing bonus damage against them. I don't know which one it is. I don't know if it's the ice or the fire. But it seems like it's absolutely destroying. Good God. Uh, I literally can't crit. <laughs> unless, unless I can do it afterwards. I mean, maybe it's... Oh my god. I mean, these rings don't matter. Literally none of my rings matter right now until I, like, if I healed. It'd be a different story. Hey, I'll take it. Fin final floor and then we die. Um. 
The fact that I can squeak through there is amazing. Okay, here come the laser beams. Good. I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive! Back it up! Not a potion. Not looking for it then. Good. Watch out for the lasers. They cut that. Ah! If they, if, <laughs> if you are unlucky enough to be where they happen to be pointing, you're in for a bad time. Like, cause reacting, to <laughs> reacting to him directly is pretty rough. Speaking of rough, this whole run right now is pretty rough. Stop! I don't want that. But I see my floor ten four. Good buddy. Here comes a nightmare. Got an actual HP up. So we gotta go. Can't really tell what's happening here. Bombs. Wait, is this? a million years ago. Where were you? Could have had it all. Is it worth it? Still? Oh, that was a bad dodge. I'm just trying to process... Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Let me go for the upgrade. I mean, this does, I don't know. I don't know. I have to make a call right now. You do 10% more burn damage. They both do damage over time. I just don't know the answer. I don't know which one's better. I don't know which one's better for this boss. I don't know if he has a weakness to one of them. We also, we never got a ring that's relevant. And if we don't take this, then we don't have that that's relevant. Uh, that's big bummer. This I know is good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I hate. I hate having to make this choice without full data here. I feel like he's not weak to either. Okay, so oops, stop. Let me let me open up my inventory, please. There we go. We'll do that just in case. Maybe we can swap it, test it in the middle. Uh, it doesn't matter here. All right. Hello. I don't know how this will go. Not sure. All I can tell you is that we're gonna have a bad time. Yeah, this is not gonna go well. Our damage is terrible. Wait, was there a patch that just buffed how much health this guy had? Maybe there was.
cut. To be fair, it's probably deserved. The Sphinx was kind of outshining him. Here comes Nightmare Town. Uh, pretty much, I think we just run away for that phase. So we actually do have to move now. We can't just do the cheeky little standstill. I think we're dead. New Malthael, who this is actually a little spooky. Well, that's not cool. I don't have any dodges. I'm gonna maybe die. I'm... Satisfact, please. Oh my god. <laughs> See, there you go. Imagine, our... The, the, the titillating moment there would have been stolen from us in the event that I just had, you know, a hundred times the health or whatever the heck, a hundred times the damage. That would have been stolen from us. That was, that was exciting. That was very exciting. Uh, but yeah, these doors don't have anything. They don't do anything. Somebody said something to do with this. There's the proof that that's wrong. Um, it's just, there's nothing. There's nothing. It is something that's not in the game yet. That's all. Eventually, eventually. Very wild run. Very, 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 very wild run. Yeah, I wonder if that guy just got more HP if it was just that, um, you know, the build was... It was weird and janky. Uh, which I kind of knew it would be. But I had a good time with it regardless. It was fun to do a strength intelligence run and then to finally get a thing that led us. 9,999? I guess I could save for that. I don't really care. I'll save for the broken sword. Alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today for Tiny Souls. It is out on the 23rd. If you want to pick it up for yourself, please make sure you will wish list it. That is the best way you can help out the game and ensure that it'll get, you know, the support and content that it's, you know, that you might want out of it when it does eventually come out. Alas, though, thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.